Hey there everyone, in the previous video we had studied the femoral triangle, femoral sheath and the femoral canal along with, it, uh, with its definition, uh, the contents, borders, diagrams, everything. So if you haven't seen that video, please go check out that video and in today's topic uh, and for the topic for today is the muscles of the lower limb along with its origin, insertion, nerve supply and the actions of the muscles. Okay, so first it is very important for us to know the surface landmarks uh, on the bones by which we can easily uh, understand the origin and insertion of the muscles. Uh, without knowing these landmarks, it will not be easier to understand the origin and the insertion of the muscles. So it is the thigh, it extends from the hip joint till the knee joint. So we are only going to see the three bones that is the uh, hip bone uh, then uh, the femur and then the patella okay these are important these uh, bones are important for uh, the um, um, insertion and origin okay so this is the lateral view of the hip bone and this is the medial view on the hip bone okay so see this is the lateral view and the medial view this is the wing of the ilium on the lateral view and iliac fossa on the inner side okay and the crest like thing that you see the curve refers to the crest it is called as the iliac crest and uh, it has two you know spines so that is the anterior superior iliac spine and the in anterior inferior iliac spine on the posterior we have the same posterior superior iliac spine and posterior inferior iliac spine okay these are the surface landmarks and just rem remember this is the greater sciatic notch and this one here uh, okay uh, this one here this one is the lesser is the lesser sciatic notch and this one is the greater sciatic notch and this one is the ischial spine okay this one is the ischial spine so this is the ischia and this is the pubis and this is the ilium okay and remember this is the acetabulum fossa and this is whatever you see here this is uh, the olecra uh, the not olecranon fossa that was in the upper limb so this is the obturator fossa and also this is the articulating surface and uh, yeah we are done with the surface landmarks for the hip joints and we are going to see the femur now so for the femur we have uh, so this is this uh, is the posterior surface of the femur muscle okay the femur bone okay so see we have the head of the femur we have the neck of the femur as we know that in the upper limb we had two we had uh, uh, two tuber uh, tubercles right that was the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle here we have the greater truncator and the uh, lesser truncator okay and in between we had the intertubercular sulcus or the bicipital groove here we have the truncatic crest because it is looking like a curve it is a crest so this is the crest so it is a truncatic crest this is the greater truncator the lesser truncator and okay the greater truncator again it has the anti the uh, anterior surface the interior surface the uh, types of surfaces okay it uh, that the greater truncator has and then along the continuation of this lesser truncator there is a line this is called the pectineal line where the attachment of the pectineus muscle takes place and along the gluteal tuberosity so this is the gluteal tuberosity the line that is emerging it is the linea aspera okay line that is linea and aspera okay see this linea aspera it has two uh, lips that is the medial lip and the lateral lip okay and attachments of various muscles takes place on this lips okay see this is the medial lip and this one here is the uh, lateral lip and this is the linea aspera okay so we are done with the uh, femur surface landmarks now we are going to see the patella see this is the anterior surface and this is the posterior surface see this is the base suppose this is a triangle so this forms the base of the triangle and this is the apex of the triangle so these see this is the apex and this is the base as seen in the femoral triangle even the base was directed upwards right so on the posterior side we have two facets okay see this is the medial surf medial side it has a medial facet on the lateral side it has a lateral facet to form the uh, knee capsule or the kneecap okay see 
and also it has upper portions lower portion mid portions okay just remember that so this is these are the important landmarks for of patela we have seen all the bony landmarks now it will be very easier for us to um, understand the origin and the insertion okay the muscles of the thigh okay the muscles of the thigh um, the anterior compartment of the thigh it has four muscles four muscles that is the sartorius muscle quadriceps femoris muscle quadriceps it has four heads see in the upper limb we had biceps with two heads and triceps with three heads in the lower limb we have the quadriceps muscle uh, the quadriceps femoris muscle uh, it uh, it has four uh, muscles right it is the rectus femoris the vastus lateralis vastus medialis and the vastus intermedialis remember this um, naming of these muscles are given on the basis where it at at attaches to the um, uh, on the surface of femur suppose it is attaching on the lateral surface of femur then uh, femur then it is called as the vastus lateralis on the medial surface if it is uh, if it is attaching that then it is called as the vastus medialis if it if it is attaching in the middle then it is the intermedialis okay remember that the rectus femoris below rectus femoris is the vastus intermedialis because even rectus femoris is the intermediate muscle so this is the superficial and this is the deep muscles okay now first we are going to see and then we have one more muscle that is the articularis chino it is a very small muscle which uh, is of greater importance we will see uh, why okay then we have the iliacus and the psoas major muscle these are strictly not the muscles of the uh, front of the thigh but these are the muscles of the ileal region of the ileal region extending to the front of thigh so these are extending to the front of the thigh but strictly not the um, muscles of the uh, anterior compartment or the front of the thigh now we're going to see the sartorius muscle what is sartorius okay sartorius in latin it is uh, known as the tailor why tailor because the tailor uh, sieves the clothes right so uh, the traditional machine uh, of the sieving the traditional sieving machine it had a foot rest on which the tailor used to uh, move the uh, foot rest by which the wheel would rotate and the sieving machine would start working so in that the sartorius muscle was very uh, it was playing an important role so it is the tailor's muscle okay so the sartorius muscle it is long and narrow and ribbon like okay it the sartorius muscle remember a point to be noted that it is the longest muscle in the human body so which is the longest muscle in the human body that is the sartorius muscle and which is the largest muscle of the human body that is the gluteus maximus muscle do not get confused between the longest and the largest okay so it is long narrow and ribbon like muscle we will see the origin Origin, insertion nerve supply and the action okay just remember that the nerve supply for all the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh will be the femoral nerve okay see we are going to see the diagram which will make it even more uh, easy to understand see so this is the iliac crest right this is the iliac crest and here there is anterior uh, anterior uh, uh, what do you call it the anterior superior iliac spine see anterior superior iliac spine and upper half of its notch upper half of the uh, notch okay so see here it is so it is the anterior superior iliac spine and the insertion is on the tibia you can see here this is the tibia bone this is the medial and the upper upper side so see you have to break the word uh, in order to understand so see it is on the shaft of the tibia we know it is on the shaft of the tibia muscle uh, tibia bone and then it is on the medial surface okay see this is the shaft of the tibia and this is the medial surface and the upper part of the medial surface see it is on the upper part it is not on the lower part so upper part of medial surface of shaft of tibula if you understand it it gets very easy to understand okay so we saw the origin and insertion of this muscle now we are going to see the nerve supply the nerve supply will be the femoral nerve to all the muscles um, in the anterior compartment of the uh, thigh the femoral nerve it is coming from the uh, ventral rami of spinal nerves of uh, l2 l3 and l4 on the dorsal side okay on the dorsal side it is the femoral nerve and on the ventral side from l2 l3 and l4 it is the obturator nerve do not get confused and the action is remember it as a laugh its action is laughing okay sartorius muscle action is laughing or just laugh okay why l for lateral rotation a for abduction 
and UGH laugh F for flexion of the leg so laugh its action is laughing of which muscle the sartorius muscle so we are done with the sartorius uh, muscle origin insertion nerve supply and action now we are going to go for the quadriceps femoris muscle which is uh, made up of four heads okay see uh, the quad uh, the rectus femoris muscle first we are going to see the rectus femoris so the rectus femoris muscle is a fusiform muscle uh, it's super it has superficial fibers and the deep fibers the superficial fibers are bipinnate and the deep fibers are straight okay just remember that and the origin uh, see this this whole region okay this whole green color is the quadriceps femoris muscle and outlined by the yellow uh, outlined by the pink now this one this is the rectus femoris muscle it is intermediate right so its origin is of two, uh, it has two origins the straight head and the reflected head the straight head arises from the upper half of the anterior inferior iliac spine the sartorius was arising from the anterior superior iliac spine and the rectus femoris is arising from the anterior inferior iliac spine okay now how to remember it is uh, the straight head S for straight and S for iliac spine remember upper half of the anterior inferior iliac spine and the reflected head and the reflected head uh, it is arising from the groove above the acetabular margin okay just remember that and see the insertion is on the base of the patella okay insertion is on the base of the patella insertion in, is on base of patella okay so this is the rectus femoris muscle its nerve supply is by the femoral nerve sorry by the femoral nerve its action are extension of the knee and flex uh, extensor of the knee joint and flexor of the hip joint it is also known as the kicking muscle okay it is also known as the kicking muscle so uh, just remember it has two everything okay two everything see superficial fibers deep fibers there are two uh, origins are the straight head and the reflected head again two and its actions are again two that is the extensor and the flexor so just remember that and the vastus lateralis muscle okay it is not arising from the uh, hip uh, hip joint it is not arising from the hip it is ari it is uh, originating from the uh, uh, fibula uh, femur itself okay so the upper uh, see this is the origin that we are going to study upper trochanteric line anterior and inferior borders of the gluteal uh, sorry greater trochanter lateral lip of the gluteal tuberosity and lateral lip of linear aspera linea aspera okay lateral you remember it is lateral uh, because it is the vast uh, vastus lateralis muscle so of course it is arising or uh, attaching to the lateral surface of the uh, femur bone so lateral lip of the gluteal tuberosity and lateral lip of the linea aspera okay easy to remember this one and upper trochanteric line and anterior and inferior borders of greater trochanter see i have made a mnemonic that is t g square l square t for the trochanteric line g for greater tubercle g for gluteal tuberosity l for lateral lip and l for linea aspera okay easy to remember the origin of the vastus lateralis muscle the insertion see the insertion is on the base of the patella and upper one third of lateral border of patella upper one third of lateral border of the patella again lateral because it's, uh, it is the muscle called as vastus lateralis so of course on the lateral border of the patella and on the base of the patella lateral base of patella okay of course the nerve supply is by the femoral nerve its action is standing walking extends the knee joint okay uh, day, day to day activities are done by uh, like the standing and walking they are done by the vastus lateralis muscle okay vastus lateralis muscle now the vastus medialis muscle its origin is again not from the hip hip bone it is on the femur so the lower part of the intertrochanteric line the spiral line upper one fourth of medial supracondylar line medial line of linear aspera okay this is not uh, like very much like you have to remember it you have to put efforts on this no 
know because it is the vastus medialis muscle of course it will be originating from the medial lip of the linea aspera the um, vastus and uh, lateralis it was originating from the lateral lip of the linea aspera and this is the medial lip of the linea aspera and the lower part of the uh, that was the anterior and inferior anterior part of the intertruncator line and this is the lower part of the intertruncator line uh, spiral line and upper one fourth of medial supracondylar line medial supracondylar medial because vastus medialis and supracondylar line okay and the insertion is on the medial one fourth base of patella okay all the muscles are uh, almost um, uh, inserting into the base of the patella and upper two third of medial border of the patella that was lateral border of patella and this is the medial border of patella okay uh, you you have to remember this this is one by four after one uh, what number comes two so two by four upper uh, medial one by four and um, upper two by four okay now again femoral nerve and the action of this muscle the vastus medialis muscle is the extension of course and rotates femur medially why medially it is vastus medialis muscle so rotates the femur medially prevents lateral displacement okay if it is moving medially of course it won't do uh, the it won't allow for the lateral displacement and it stable it provides stability to the patella which it is a key point that you have to remember which muscle stay provides stability to the patella that is the vastus medialis muscle we are done with the vastus medialis now we are going to see the vastus intermedialis muscle so its origin is it is also not originating from the hip uh, bone it is originating on the uh, femur itself upper three fourth of anterior lateral or anterior lateral lateral shaft of humerus it is the muscle that is originating on, uh, from the shaft okay so the shaft not the upper end but the shaft of the femur that is which muscle vastus intermedialis muscle from the shaft okay and uh, upper three fourth of anterior lateral shaft of the femur and its insertion is of course in the base of the patella as i already told nerve supply very easy femoral nerve and um, actions are extension of the knee joint okay it helps in it helps in the extension of, of the knee joint and this uh, vastus intermedialis it is uh, present below the rectus femoris muscle now the last muscle that we are going to see here is the articularis genus muscle okay see it is a very small muscle it's originating on the anterior surface of the femur see this is the anterior surface of the femur and is uh, uh, its insertion is on not on the bone but on the supra patellar bursa okay it is inserted into the bursa okay it is inserted into the bursa the synovial bursa okay nerve supply again femoral nerve its action or its significance is very important okay it pulls the synovial bursa upwards to prevent from damage during extension of leg suppose uh, the person is extending the leg at the knee joint so this uh, muscle that is the articularis genus muscle it pulls the synovial bursa it pulls the synovial bursa upward to avoid any injury or damage to it so that is the importance of the articularis genus muscle now we are going to uh, see again the important nerves uh, this is the femoral nerve arising from the dorsal uh, branch of the l2 l3 and l4 on the ventral we have again l2 l3 l4 that is the obturator nerve okay so we have seen the surface landmarks and thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we are going to study the femoral artery uh, femoral artery femoral vein and femoral nerve its definition course beginning termination branches uh, and uh, um, you know attachments and everything we are going to study about uh, this and this video will be very much important because direct 10 marks 5 marks and 3 marks questions are uh, uh, always arising from this topic so make sure to stay tuned and thank you so much for watching this video